YouTube family. Apparently, Little Boosie got arrested for that ATL situation. Before we speak on it, we get on it, we break it down. We gotta go through what's really going on, man. In the world of Little Boosie, what is going on with this? guy in the situations he's in now little boosie got a whole lot to bring up and to say now before we get started y'all know how we do already y'all level up with the bosses and know that we gotta pay these bills gang Ladies and gentlemen, Boosie Boo is caught up in a world of situations right now. Now, apparently Boosie living his best life, minding his own business, going outside, and then boom, they got your boy Boosie again. Boosie was arrested and booked into the Fulton County Jail on October 11th. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, on October 11th, they grabbed Boosie Boo and put him in an unfortunate situation. Now, TMZ put up the paperwork and it read like this so it talked about on october 11 basically before getting released the following day because boosie was released now while the charges have not been confirmed a source said that the baton rouge rapper has been charged with two felonies and three misdemeanors the charges reportedly stem from those altercations and situations y'all know how they talked about during the set at the Legends of Streets tour in Atlanta earlier this month, a fight broke out. And on the side of the stage, Boosie Boo was seen being held back. That's why they talking about the man was being held back. He went through the trenches of things and folks in them wasn't really letting Boosie speak his piece. So the arrest just came, you know what I'm saying, unexpectedly for Boosie Boo. Now, with Boosie Boo already got a whole lot going on with his Instagram, he don't need things like being arrested, bruh. Because all it's going to do is just make things go more haywire. It's going to take him out of his element, take his incomes and funds. Now, they went deeper on the situation with Boosie Boo in this. Now, they saying that, bruh, it was somebody who basically was held back after someone and Boosie later revealed he was removed from the tour as a result of the incident. Basically, rumors of his arrest started circulating and they started saying that Boosie shared a post on Instagram without offering any details of the arrest. Remember, Boosie seen what was going on and his details of the arrest was responding, you know what I mean, with his own little letter. He did an IG post to the masses and he wrote, I'll be back shortly. That's right. Boosie Boo said he'll be back shortly. Um, don't worry about it. You guys can go follow him at America's Most Wanted um, IG, which is basically Boosie Boo's IG. You know what I mean? Um, it's a whole lot going on, y'all. Which I don't know is Boosie actually tried to avoid these situations tried not to bring these about and it still came out for people to see the situation now boosie we already know with his case and his situation it's a up and down journey he's been trying to do things a little bit different than the rest and the ways they got things going on now a lot of people apparently was not too thrilled and happy with boosie's situation they were explaining that boosie's badass after party in baltimore actually um had also a shootout educational purpose in that situation if you don't know on october 5th boosie's badass involvement with the legend of street tours basically you know has hit another roadblock just days after the tour stop in atlanta was shut down you know for the situation we just read but in baltimore shots rang out around 1 38 a.m local time on monday morning october 4th man if this is bro you know like when you boosie boo bro a lot of people is gonna look for you a lot of people is gonna really try to stain you right quick bro i'm i'm catching that even more as i look around bro folks and i'm really gonna try to make a stain out who you are they're gonna discredit your name i mean a lot of things is gonna happen to the point you can't even really live in peace the way you say you want to live in peace now the baltimore situation is a little bit deeper than what you think it goes like this at the european nightclub after a broad 
broke out inside the venue. Police in the Canton industrial area said they heard gunshots nearby and soon discovered a vehicle with a shattered window and several bullet holes. According to the outlet, 27 years old man was struck several times in the head and torso during the commotion and was quickly transported to a nearby hospital where he's currently in critical condition. Boosie was reportedly unharmed during the incident. Police are asking anyone with information about the shooting to come forward and contact the Metro Crime Stoppers. The incident follows a few days after Boosie was taken off several upcoming legends of the street tours dates. You know, like, this whole thing, bro, is really like flexing left y'all gotta remember in separate tweets Boosie also confirmed he'd be attending after parties in Greenbows, North Carolina and Baltimore the tour which included sets by Rick Ross, Jeezy, Gucci Mane, 2 Change, Fabulous, you got Little Kim, Trina, bro like they have stops in the N.O., Houston, Dallas, Miami, Tampa, that whole Tampa Bay area and Memphis, shout out to Memphis by the way, so it's a whole lot of things that nobody wants to be into, bro. Folks that don't want to get paid, you trying to get, you know, you trying to eat, bro. Nobody dreams of getting in an effed up situation and you just got to keep dealing with it like that. It's always a back and forth when you feel like you're losing, dog. You trying to win out here and people just, you know, making a melee with you in your whole situation. So right now, the best you could do is just smile for a hater and let them see what it is. And that's also the sad part of all this, bro. It seems like people really do be targeting people in the situation because he's the bigger name. He's the outlet. He's the one that you say his name and they will come. And that's basically the way it is right now. Boosie Boo got a star power name. With a name like that, people ain't going to like not not say your name. I mean, this the way these um, district attorneys and the magistrate, which is a.k.a. the judge and all these folks involved. This is how they get their name out. This is how they get their rise by shaking and baking. And, and finessing the system to basically trick you out your position but we do got to take accountability now i rock with boosie boo but what does he do to get himself in these situations we know the game don't like you we know the game is rigged we know folks who look like you and i these things are going to happen so what do you do to get away out of them situations do you make sure when you roll out you check and make sure everybody on their p's and q's and not just for the ops but also for them 12s and folks and everybody who out here that don't want to see you win these questions got to be asked because this be you know getting in hindrance like that and then you write in a post about i'll be back shortly you did come back shortly but the problem with that is what money are you going to lose more behind the scenes and i rock with boosie boo i'm I, I support him all the way on all his stance but when you're a business and a brand i know people like to say oh he gonna make his money and all that but what's the point of making money but also trying to lose money i just i can't really convey that to my brain but shout out to boosie boo we with you all the way we rocking with you man salute to boosie and his entire movement man love your family love your kid and everybody with this coach man stay blessed gang salute 100 